Now, Australian scientists have made a bit of a breakthrough. It could explain why some people don't get symptoms of COVID-19, whilst others, of course, as we know, become very ill. A naturally occurring protein in the lungs appears to only be present for some, which works by attaching itself to the virus like Velcro. Well... Let's see what it means for actually not just for tackling the virus moving forward, but actually what it could mean for other illnesses and other therapies. Actually, let's talk to a group leader of RNA therapies at the University of Sydney, Dr. Lipin Liu. Good to see you this morning. What does yeah. this mean? How, how, I mean, what, what is this discovery and how can we then use it moving forward? Yeah, so um, we did an experiment that allows uh, that allowed us to sift through every gene in the genome, and we found this hit this receptor LRC15 that would convert a cell into like a, a virus uh, binding sponge. Uh, and we've been using this analogy a lot. It it serves as like a molecular velcro. So unlike other receptors that allow the virus to enter the cells, um, this receptor seems to just bind the virus and then immobilizes it on the membrane. Um, so, uh, application-wise, we think we can uh, probably develop this into a therapy that we can maybe uh, inhale and then it would line our lungs and serve as this Velcro that would immobilize the, the virus, preventing them from targeting other uh, target cells within your lungs. So, is this like a vaccine then? How would it actually work or do you, is it separate to the vaccine? It's, it's not really a vaccine. So the vaccine actually induces your immune uh, system to build like uh, an immunity against the, the virus. Um, this, is, this would literally be, uh, we're still building the mRNA medicine for this. We will still introduce the mRNA into your cells, uh, in your lungs or you know, in, in the airways. But then those cells would then transcribe this mRNA to produce the protein. And then it gets secreted in the lining of your lungs, and then that would serve as a barrier um, that prevents the virus from entering uh, uh, the target cells, like the H2 expressing um, cells. It's just such a fascinating thing that research into, it can, I mean, we knew about COVID. COVID's been around, obviously, or, or COVID viruses have been around for a while, coronaviruses. Um, but the fact that, that through all this research, something which is absolutely natural but we didn't know about before has been discovered is, is absolutely amazing, isn't it? It just goes to prove there's so, there's so much about the human body we still don't know. Yeah, um, it, it was. And in fact, I should note, like, we weren't the only group that found this. There were actually three independent groups, one in the UK, in fact, uh, one at Oxford, uh, which was led by uh, Professor Gavin Wright. Uh, and also another team in the States uh, at the Brown and Yale University. Three independent groups all did uh, three di very different experiments, but we all found the same receptor and we published them sort of like back to back, uh, but we somehow managed to gain most of the media attention. But yeah, it, it, is, it was quite amazing when we got the hit, um, we were like, wow, this is just sitting there. Like we didn't know anything about this um, protein's uh, interaction with the, the virus. Can, can I ask then, in, ter in terms of therapies moving forward, is this Velcro protein, if we call it that, is, is, it, is it just responding to a coronavirus or will it respond to, to other viruses as well? So um, there was a study quite a few years ago now that showed that it could prevent adenoviruses. It's a different type of virus from infecting cells. Uh, and we're now also testing different strains um, to see if it works because uh, most of our experiments were done with the original Wuhan strain. So we, get, we have some ongoing experiments now to test if it's effective against the, the latest strains of COVID. Uh, and of course, we would test like the common cold um, virus as well. We're, we're not sure. We'll have to keep studying this, but hopefully it pans out. Um, but based on its uh, endogenous, like its, its location in the human body where it's found in some very interesting immune related sites like in your tonsils and your lymphatic vessels we we think that it's probably like a very common innate immune receptor that can probably target many different types of viruses